Rub up your engines! Well, happy holidays from Rhode Island. Today, I'm going to give you some holiday gift suggestions. Not too expensive stuff, but stuff that really is worthwhile that I've tried out myself. And as usual, the stuff I'm talking about is not paid advertising. That's how I got over 2 billion views on YouTube. Telling people the truth about stuff. I'm not some sleaze bag out here hawking merchandise that I'm getting paid to talk about. I've been working on cars for over 54 years. I'm cheap myself. I don't want to overspend. So here's some interesting gifts that people might really appreciate. Got a motor trend rear mat. It started when you put some bleach in here and it stained the rug, right? So I priced the gray rug from Toyota. It was a small fortune. I went to Amazon rubber replacement. It fits right on top. And not only wasn't it a small fortune, it was like 50 bucks or so, it solved two problems. We don't have to see the ugly stain she made, but even better, it's nice, rubber pleated. None of the stuff moves around anymore. For years, both of us hated driving. We take a corner fast or slam on the brakes, and you would hear back in the trunk, slosh, clunk, slosh, clunk. Things would be sliding on the rug and hitting everything. None of the stuff slides around anymore. It stays right where it was. Instead of my big box of tools going bang, bang, they stay where they are. Plus, it's real easy to clean. You can just pull it out, clean it, throw it back in, and it looks nice. They come in various colors. It was great for this because this is gray and it matches right in. And as usual, I'm lazy as can be, so I just went to Amazon, ordered it. UPS guy delivered it here. Next day, hey, my wife is really happy with this gift. She be driving she hear noise and freak out. Now, no noise. Easy to clean and it looks good. And yeah, they are cut to fit. I could have done a little neater job maybe cutting the edges, but it's in there solid now. It makes no noise. And she loves it. The next possible gift is this Tech Bond solution. It is a very fancy type of super glue. And I'm amazed at how this stuff works. Now, believe it or not, my wife's ring here, the metal separated. So I glued it back together with this stuff, and voila, it's still together. Months later, washing dishes, whatever, squeezing, painting my son's staircase, it hasn't broken, which is kind of amazing because it's a skinny little ring. Now what makes this work best is, it's a three part formulation. You can patch all kinds of stuff with it, but the main thing is, it has a prep. You spray that on the sides to prepare what you're gluing together. Then you have an activator and an accelerator that then you spray on. And last but not least, there's a Tech Bond version of the super glue, which you glue together, hold it for five minutes, and voila, it seals itself on. Now I tried this on all kinds of stuff. I gotta say, the little sign tells the truth. Wood, metal, rubber, plastic, polymers, polyplastics, nylon, polypropylene, polyethylene, Teflon, Del ring. And yes, I know you're not supposed to, but I glued my tooth back in. I got it knocked out in Toronto in a hockey game. Well, eventually, I had stainless steel post stuck into a titanium screw with a hole in it that was screwed into my skull. And it's supposed to be a press fit where the tooth, you hammer it in and it press fits. Well, the dentist I used in Houston was pretty crappy and it kept falling out and I'd have to keep hammering back in over the years and it got to be relatively annoying. So I thought, what the heck, I'll try this tech bond. Put a drop on the stainless steel peg that's built into the fake tooth, pushed it in with a hammer and it stayed in place. It's not moving around and falling out where I got to keep hammering it back in. And yeah, I know they say you're not supposed to do it, but realize I got a stainless steel post. You don't want to use the glue on raw skin or, you know, teeth that still are alive. I, I didn't have a tooth there anymore. I got a titanium plug stuck in and it held up. I got to say, I'm impressed. The guys at TechBond know what they're talking about. When you're done, you get your three bottles. You put it back in the package it came and you seal it. Therefore, no oxygen gets in it. But it's not just that. It came in another bag. I put it inside the other bag and I seal that bag. Now you have a seal and a seal. No oxygen gets into this super glue system. Now the next gift is really inexpensive, but for people in the know, they will love to get something like this. This is a funnel for adding fluids to your car. You notice it's kind of a weird shape? Well, it's a weird shape because it works better that way. This particular one is red line oil, but a lot of companies make them. Coolest thing is, with the angle, it can be used just about anywhere. You know, Toyotas, you start pouring it, they often overflow to the top. This fits right in the notch, so when you pour it in, it doesn't pour too much and go all over the place. It's a nice metered system that goes to the side and goes directly into the engine 
instead of having to fill up and then bubble. It looks like an old elf's pipe or something, but it has very good use. You can see here it fits easily into the transmission ad pole too. Sure, it's a simple idea, but somebody works on their own car, you give them a funnel like this, boy, they're gonna thank you because it's solid plastic. It's not one of those crappy crenulated ones. You bend it, you bend it, and then the crenulation's ripping, it leaks all over the place. It's just solid plastic. I've had this one for a couple of years. What good is that? It's an awful lot of good. People who know cars, you get one of these, they're gonna thank you for it. But you know me, I go for overcoat. So I got a white one too. <laughs> I got two of them. The truth behind that is, I thought I lost the red one. So then I bought the white one, and of course the next day, what do I do? I find the red one in my toolbox. So maybe buy two, they don't cost much. Now the next possible gift is this trim serum. Maybe a company called Lithium, it's kind of a small company. It has the best formulation for polishing rubber, plastic, you name it. Just put a little on a clean cloth, wipe the rubber or plastic, and it totally rejuvenates the stuff. Go inside, I did the dash, I even did the steering wheel. It's leather, works pretty good on leather too. I even did the plastic on the front that had faded away. Look how nice it is now. The side view mirrors, stuff's amazing. It lasts a really long time. You don't need to use much of it. And it's so far superior to anything else that's out there. It does work to shine tires, especially car tires, right? But don't. I mean, don't ever try it. A motorcycle tire. Because I was stupid and I did that once. On my Suzuki, and it slid out from under me when I was taking off on a corner. Tire treads on the side. And I was going to the side and it just slid because it's so slippery. Stuff you look at, fine dash grill, trim, but I'd say stay away from tires. The stuff is so slippery, you don't want your tires sliding when you're either cornering or braking. I learned that the hard way. And my next possible gift is for the security of your vehicle. This is a real link security camera. You or your loved one you're getting a gift for. Hey, maybe they're always worried about their vehicles, right? Well, you put one of these at your house, your garage, Check it out, we're gonna go inside and you can see what I'm talking about. And now I'm inside my nice warm house, maybe I wanna check what's going on outside. And you can check it out from anywhere. And from the comfort of your own house, there's the garage now. I can see my motorcycle still there. The wife took the car, but you can pan around, you can zoom in and out, you can even talk to people and say, hey, get out of my garage if you see someone in there. So you get peace of mind for like 59 bucks. You can't argue that. Pretty good deal, you know? I've had no problems with it. Been here for over a year, still works perfectly fine. I got them all over the place here. And they have memory slot cards in them, so if you wanna record stuff, uh, I've recorded stuff for kids when a deer and stuff go by. Look, the deer, and send them the pictures of the deer and stuff. Uh, they're real handy. One of these is the way to go for 59 bucks. You can't go wrong. Now the last possible gift is this Conway battery and charging system analyzer. Now it also has an OBD2 plug. You can take the charging part off, check charges, plug it into your port. It's just a cheap OBD2. You know, if you want a really cheap one, it doesn't do all that much. What it really does is check batteries and charging systems. Now, this thing costs like around 60 bucks. But when you consider mechanics charge $150 to $200 an hour labor, and a battery today can cost 200 something bucks, why not get your own tester? So you can do it yourself the right way. Then instead of taking it someplace and they say, well, you need a battery and that's a $150 charge for analyzing your system and placing the battery. Do it yourself with the $60 test or go buy the battery at a better price somewhere else and bolt it in yourself. Batteries aren't that complex to put in. They're pretty simple. It does all kinds of things. I don't really worry about using it for an OBD scanner. It does basic stuff if you want basic codes, but this is mainly for checking your carpet. Checking the battery, out of vehicle in this case, regular flooded, and it's testing it now. Charge and retest. I've already recharged it. If you keep getting one that says charge and retest, you charge it up for a day and it still says it, means the battery's no good of course. And you can also use it to check the current coming out of the alternator. So you can test your alternator too. Around 60 bucks. You can do some pretty good testing so you don't have to trust somebody else. I found there's a lot of crookedness in the repair business. Let's face the facts, garages and especially dealerships have immense overhead that they have to pay for. Take a giant new car dealership. Millions of dollars overhead per year. They got all the salaries that they gotta pay insurance, they got so much money that they're shelling out to stay in business, you're gonna pay a lot of money. They always mark up, sometimes they mark up the prices 100%. They might buy a battery for 50 bucks and they'll charge a hundred something dollars to put it in and to, in quotes, test the system, right? Why not test it yourself? It's a great gift for people 
who want to save money. Because I've had tons of people come over here. They were bent a bunch of shops that ripped them off, charged them all kinds of money because their car didn't run right. It still didn't run right. And all I do is test the battery and alternator and find out that one or the other, or maybe even both, have gone bad. Bad battery, bad alternator can make your car do all kinds of squirrely things. So why not check it yourself? And hey, if you're a big spender and you can find a nice motorcycle like this for three grand, why not get your favorite relative a nice motorcycle to have some fun with. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.